Lynn, lovely, lovely in red today for Pentecost. <laughs> Thank you, Reverend Jackie, and good morning, church. It's hard to believe that just five months ago, we journeyed to Bethlehem to see God in the face of the infant Jesus laying in a manger. We saw the shepherds and we heard the angels singing. 50 days ago, we gathered at the empty tomb, a tomb that, where the stone had been rolled back. We saw the burial clouds, close, pardon me, and we experienced the joy of his resurrection in the message of the angels. And in one who Mary thought was a gardener, but actually was the risen Lord, and she knew that as soon as he spoke her name. And last Sunday, we imagined ourselves on the Mount of Olives as Jesus ascended into heaven to take his place at the right hand of God the Father. And once again, we hear the voices of angels, and we are comforted and filled with joy because God has promised never to leave us or forsake us. With the followers of Jesus, we are told to go back to Jerusalem to wait, to wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And today, we relive the celebration that took place in the upper room as the disciples receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And they are commissioned to go out and be living examples of God's love, his mercy, and his forgiveness. Wherever we are, wherever, whomever they meet. Church, we have the Holy Spirit, we have God's holy word, and we have each other. And together we are embraced by the unconditional love of God. And just a reminder, Isaiah 41 says to us, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will surely help you, and I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. We have everything to be excited and encouraged about. On a different note, when I met Molly this week at the church, she was wearing red to do a recording for Pentecost, and when I commented on her wearing red, she said, only for Jesus, Lynn, only for Jesus. Bless you, Molly. We had some great advice and creativity from Richard and Louise this week. If you've not had a chance to walk or to drive by our Knox Oakville sign, make it a destination. You will have a chuckle as you read what is on our sign. David, who lives in a long-term long care home, loves to sing. One of his dearest wishes is that he will be able to be back at Knox and to sing here once again. But this week at the care facility where he lives, they live streamed <clears throat> a service into the rooms of each of the residents. And last week, David was invited to sing with them. So isolated and with a microphone and absolute joy in his heart, he was able to sing of his Lord for his fellow residents. So thank you for sharing your love of God and your joy of singing, David. Margie, we know that you had a very special 85th birthday this uh, celebration this past week. And we would like to add our good wishes for a wonderful and meaningful year ahead for you from all of your friends here at Knox. June is a favored month for weddings, and we are aware of three of our couples who will be celebrating anniversaries this month. Angus and Sharon will be celebrating their wedding anniversary on June the 17th. Congratulations. On June the 3rd, Richard and Susan will be celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. And not only that, but on June the 17th, Alex and Betty will be celebrating their 60 years of marriage together. And we want you to know that your church family congratulates you on living wonderful, fulfilling lives and years together and being a wonderful example to the rest of us. So congratulations, Richard and Susan, 
and Alex and Betty. Auntie Pam loves to pray. Auntie Pam loves children. Put that together and you will find Auntie Pam praying with children. I learned last week how a phone call to young children at bedtime who had had a hectic, typical pandemic day in lockdown can make the difference in providing a really good night's sleep. You would hear Auntie Pam remind them to put their hands together, to close their eyes, and to invite them to share what they would like to pray about. Then they pray together for them and for each other. So thank you, Auntie Pam, for that wonderful ministry. The ruling elders of Knox will be making phone calls to all members and adherents of Knox Church between now and the end of June. This one-time phone visitation is to find out how, everything is, how everyone is doing, and it provides you with an opportunity of sharing your joys and concerns with them. So with that, back to you, Reverend Jackie, as you lead us in prayer. Thanks, Lynn. Um, uh, the Foxall children were blessed with prayers with Auntie Pam last week. So thank you for sharing that. It's, it is a blessing. Uh, I also just got a message reminding us that it's uh, Harry and Barbara McWilliams 60th anniversary this weekend as well. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting, right? I know. Way to go, everyone. Uh, so congratulations to all the couples and for those who are looking forward uh, to maybe a first anniversary or just getting married this year. It's exciting times.